everybody, it is me Leo and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing another speed build and this time we're building a very highly requested build. It's another penthouse. Um, this one is called the Skylit Loft. And it's actually quite a substantial penthouse. It's got three bedrooms and three full bathrooms. So it's 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 quite a big one as penthouses tend to be in The Sims 4. They're, they tend to be quite large because the buildings that they're on are quite large as well. But this is a very special penthouse because it's got a glass roof. Yes, uh, I've did this technique before where I used the glass awning that came with uh, Get Together uh, to kind of put glass roofs on my buildings, but I realized that since we were getting seasons pretty soon, I'm probably not going to be able to utilize this technique anymore because we are getting like actual legit glass roofs with seasons. So I was like, you know what, let's let's do this maybe like one last time. Uh, who knows, maybe I, I'm going to be able to use this in the future, but for now, I, I, I see myself maybe using the glass roofs from seasons a little bit more, I don't know, we'll see. But, um, I built this penthouse for a pair of roommates that are a little bit more on the creative side of the spectrum, I guess. So, um, our main occupant for this penthouse is a very accomplished and distinguished artist, uh, and then he is roommates with um, a musician slash uh, music producer uh, and they make they compose music from their home basically which is this penthouse so um, another really unique thing about this build is actually the fact that all of the artwork all of the painting I used um, are paintings that your sim can make or in this case, paintings that uh, this particular resident made. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's it's a pretty it's a pretty good it's a pretty good house. Uh, I think I was able to, you know, um, showcase the personality of those people who are living here, and I'm super super happy that I was able to use the paintings because I I don't think I've ever done that before, where I basically just you know used paintings that are not available in build by mode to use as decoration so that's pretty awesome but of course the star of this whole entire build is this glass roof which pretty much covers most of the house um uh, also because of that i had to build the house outdoors um, so I'm not sure how practical that is when we get seasons and when we get climate. So, you know, that's another thing that I thought about. I'm probably going to be a little bit more limited with what I build when seasons comes out because we have to consider different seasons and different climates. So, um, I don't think there's going to be, uh, a lot of outdoor builds in the future. Who knows, maybe in tropical or desert locations there's going to be a lot of outdoor, but um, in terms of building outdoor houses in the snow, eh, it's pretty doubtful. I'm super excited for seasons though. Uh, but oh, by the way, before we move forward, um, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to be doing a Q&A video pretty soon. So if you guys still haven't given me your comments or your questions, please go ahead and ask me in the comments below anything you guys want um, and I will choose questions that I will respond to um, for that video. I'm also contemplating on live streaming the Q&A video because I haven't done it yet but we're planning to upgrade our internet in in a week so I don't know it might have to wait a little bit but uh, We'll see. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to that, if that becomes a reality. <laughs> anyway, my mom is coming over 
um, this weekend once again. So she'll she'll be facilitating that um, you know internet upgrade. So we'll see what kind of options we have when she gets here. But yeah, you guys can see that I really tried to make this build sort of structurally coherent. So you guys can see that on the top level there are actually beams to help support the glass roof. Also I've hidden the posts of the roof or of this awning inside like actual walls because I didn't like how they looked you know unhidden <laughs> if that makes any sense so yeah I just tried my best to make it look like you know it was all architecturally cohesive and I was really happy with how it all came together so this home actually has a very like industrial modern vibe and I guess a little bit more on the artsy side as well because eventually all of these walls will be filled with beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, so you guys will see that in a little bit. But here I'm utilizing the indoor-outdoor aspect, I guess, of this build because basically um, on one side there are these gigantic glass windows or doors, sliding doors, that basically open up to the beautiful views of Senmai Shuno, and um, I really, really like it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how, in real life, sliding doors that are that big would work, but I think it. it I think it will. <laughs> I'm pretty sure with today's technology, I think that sort of thing will be possible. So, um, and then there's a little um, glass sliding door on the other side as well. So that is that. I really, really like that detail. So right now it looks like we're already doing some furnishing actually. So um, yeah, I took a lot of time building the outside because I didn't want it to look like a normal house. You know, like I know that, well, I knew that if I wanted to use the glass awning, I would have to put like some sort of roof onto it. I couldn't just have a flat roof. I mean, if I wanted a flat roof, I probably could have done that, but I knew that I had to put like some sort of roof, maybe like a hip roof or something. So, and I, I was trying to avoid making it look like a house, you know, because typically, you know, like when you have a, a box with a triangular roof on it, it, it looks like a house, you know, it's like a basic house shaped. Uh, but I think in the end, the outside came together really nice. It looks very coherent with the building that it's built on, and I think it works. I think it's it's pretty it's pretty cohesive overall. Uh, so over here downstairs, initially I had this really really large space over here, so I was like, you know what? I think this would be a pretty good space for a super long dining table well that just looked really weird first of all so instead of keeping that large space i just added an extra bedroom and an extra bathroom so originally i just had two bedrooms and two bathrooms but because i walled in that space i ended up having one more extra bedroom and one more extra bathroom if that makes sense oh uh, yeah anyway uh so yeah, we're just pretty much putting the decoration. At this point, I think the kitchen's finished. Um, you guys won't see it because I took it out of the video, but I put a bar on the kitchen. It's um, it's like a four tile long bar. It's one of the base game bars, but it's four tiles long. And because I didn't have much space in the kitchen, I had to hide the extra space of the bar inside of the wall, but it still works. I tested it out and it, it works fine. Uh, over here, I decided to put the the dining room actually slightly away from the kitchen, but I felt like since that was a formal dining room, I think I felt like that was a, a, an appropriate place for it. Uh, but yeah, um, and right now it looks like we're furnishing the main living room. Uh, this elevator area right here, where the elevator is, I'm actually gonna move that in a little bit because I wanted a little bit more space for that shelf. I don't like that shelf if it's like clipping through the wall. <laughs> I know that it's like a super minor pet peeve, but 
I, I don't like really I, I really don't like looking at it when it's clipping to the walls so I I just moved uh, you know I just moved everything everything like an extra tile to one side to make some space for it and at, at this point I'm actually really struggling with this living room because I had no idea what furniture I wanted I didn't like the stuff that I initially chose so right now I am choosing I think the final set of furniture that I went with and I, I used these like really nice studded leather sofas oh, I really really love these oh my gosh I use these in so many of my builds and they just look really classy and sophisticated and awesome uh, so I, I just put it there also there is a TV on top of the bookshelf and I actually tested it out and um, it works the sims will sit on the sofas and they can watch TV from there I also put a console on on the bookshelf and I saw like um, one of my friends who also does YouTube I'm not sure if you guys know her but Emmy Sims I watch her videos uh, she also does speed builds and let's plays and stuff but I watch her videos and I think pretty much in most of her builds she puts the game consoles on bookshelves and that really surprised me when I saw it for the first time I was like what did you just do that and yeah she did uh, so that was a neat little thing I learned from watching her and of course we're just putting in these spotlights uh, eventually these lights will actually be shining on some actual pieces of artwork but for now the walls are going to be left bare but they look really awesome actually and I really really like the lighting um, so hopefully making this like entire space outdoors wouldn't be much of an issue for you guys since the sleeping areas and the bathrooms are still indoors so I don't really see how that would be like much of an issue so this is uh, one of the two main bedrooms in the house and then the other bedroom is a loft well technically it's still a bedroom but I'm, not, I'm just gonna call it a loft but basically all of the bedrooms in this house also well all of the bedrooms except for the guest bedroom are also like workspaces so this one i made it so that it could work for like a you know like a music studio so i put everything that a music producer would need i mean whatever they would need in my understanding of what they do <laughs> so basically there are some keyboards and there is this really awesome counter where i actually put the computer on that counter um typically i put the computer either on a dining table or on uh, a desk so just to mix things up a little bit I decided to put it on a counter because I know that that also works as well but you guys can see I made this little you know recording studio slash editing studio or something I really like it on the walls I put these like I don't know what, what are these things called oh like all of the youtubers have these except yours truly because i'm way too poor uh but i see like all of the youtubers have these on their walls these are like noise canceling well they're not noise canceling panels they're like they're like these rubber or foam panels you put on the wall to like improve the audio quality of whatever you're doing so that's that also this room has um walls that have wooden uh, paneling on it as well like the wooden panel the black wood paneling on the side uh, and I put it there because um, for music specifically wood actually helps really well that's why in you know musical performance theaters and stuff it, it always has wooden wooden walls and wooden floors because that helps with the acoustics and stuff and yes I did read on acoustics because I had a theater project when I was in college and I had to read on it and I, it was a pretty pretty extensive research that I, did, that I did so I'm trying to apply that in this build which probably doesn't really make a lot of sense because acoustics doesn't work how it does in real life and in the sense it's complete it's two completely different things it's what I'm trying to say but our sim the person that stays in this room also really loves cats so i put a lot of like little clues and hints to that i almost put like an actual cat 
in this household. But I was like, you know what? Let let's not. Uh, and let's just pretend like she can't keep cats in this in this penthouse. Even though I think it, I think it, I think it would be allowed uh, for like a penthouse like this, especially if they're like paying so much money to live here. Like I don't see why cats wouldn't be allowed. Uh, but yeah, I just put some. I think I put like a cat sculpture, and then later on I put like a couple of cat paintings as well. Uh, also, this room has pops of red in case you guys haven't noticed yet. I really really like the crimson red details and this is where I put uh, a guitar actually. So it's also a nice crimson red guitar and I think it came out really nice in the end. I like how this room has a lot of personality to it. Uh, so the toilets I actually furnished off camera as always. So you guys would not see it in this build, except for the toilet upstairs in the loft area. I think I actually included footage of me furnishing that. Uh, and then pretty much, okay, at this point, I've already selected the paintings that I wanted to use for decorating this home. And basically I did a technique that well, I'm not sure if it's a technique, it's like a thing that so many of my YouTuber friends does, like, let's see, I think I first saw Pineapple do this, I, I mean, everybody does it, for sure, like, <laughs> but basically there are rooms available in the gallery, in case you guys didn't know, there are rooms that you can download that have all of the paintings painted onto them. And, um, you know, you can just choose whichever paintings you want. I recorded that part of me downloading the room from the gallery and choosing the paintings but that just took way too long because I was really specific on what kind of paintings I wanted to use for this house because you know it was for an artist so I had to be really consistent with his style so I specifically chose abstract paintings and surrealist paintings as well so those are the two main styles of paintings that I used and then I also included some pop art paintings as well. Uh, and I really, really love the paintings that I chose. At this point, I already furnished the guest bedroom, but we'll we'll come back to it a little bit later on. So, um, oh my gosh, I love these paintings on this bedroom. They are paintings of little cats. They're so cute. Um, and then on this sort of like... Um, feature chimney wall or something I also put like another really really large painting on that as well so the person living here like our artist I imagine he creates canvases that are like worth millions each basically so each canvas from him would cost like hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions he's that much of a distinguished artist I'm not sure how true to that I'm not sure how true to life that is in real life, but I think some artists make literally millions out of like just a single canvas. But this room used to be much bigger. I think you guys can probably see in earlier um, in earlier parts of this build that this room was way bigger. But I realized that I still haven't made a laundry area, like a mud room. Can it be, can it be called a mud room if it's in a penthouse I think it can uh, we're just gonna call it a laundry area but yeah I realized that we still didn't have a laundry area so I had to make room for it so I had to just take out pieces from this room but I really really liked how this room came together actually it get it turned out looking really nice and industrial and I also did this thing where I customized the shelving for this room and just to make it like an extra decorative feature as well uh, some of the paintings I also put on the ground just to, you know, give some variety. And I also decided to not put the paintings on the frame. I love the raw feel of just having the paintings on canvas. So that's that. Uh, oh, it looks like we are already working on the upstairs loft area. Uh, so this is technically like the master bedroom or something. Uh, I really, really love this room. It's really different from what I've done before, actually. So, um, I love the bed. I used this technique I got from a good friend, Hey Harry. 
uh, where she combines love seats or chairs with beds to make headboards. Uh, yeah, but basically, this is the room where our artist stays and works. Um, and yeah, this is basically their workspace. This is their office as well. And this is kind of like their little um, personal retreat from everywhere else in the world. So I've actually seen this room from, you know, live mode. And if you actually look down, I mean, if you look up from, you know, where this room is, you can see like from the ceiling, you can see like all the other buildings surrounding it. It's really awesome. Did I describe that properly? I think that there's probably like a better way of describing what I'm, I was trying to say, but I just, I just cannot speak. <laughs> But basically, yeah, you guys can see, ooh, at this point, I've already done a lot of furnishing, but a lot of that is going to change. So I did edit, edit it out, like I will rearrange the furniture and I will take some furniture pieces out. Because I really wanted to fit in this glass desk, um, yeah, in the middle of a room, because there's literally like no space where it was just a wall because everywhere every everywhere else is occupied so i wanted to use this glass desk um so i was trying to make it fit and i was trying to fiddle with you know some of the furniture items that i already had so i ended up putting it here in the middle which is a very interesting place to put it but it works you know um it's not it's it's like non-obtrusive is that the right word it's like not obstructing anything and because it's glass it doesn't really block anything as well like you know if you're on the bed you can still see the tv properly and all that good stuff so i really really liked how everything came together in this room and then for the lighting i also used these spotlights once again and oh my gosh the out the nighttime lighting is so beautiful it really is. Um, you guys should definitely check this out at night. I still haven't filmed the house tour video for this one, so I'm wondering if I want to film at night or in the daytime, but I feel like it might be in the daytime because this is called the Skylit Loft. <laughs> so I had to like show off how it would look skylit. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be moonlit which which would, which would actually be a pretty cool idea you know for like a gothic inspired penthouse like moonlit penthouse i i will save that idea for future reference <laughs> uh thinking of that makes me think of um another penthouse that another good friend of mine built simproved she did like a gotham inspired like penthouse that was also really beautiful so yes, um, the master bathroom definitely has the best uh, plumbing. <laughs> the best plumbing, really, that's all I can come up with. It, it has like the most high-end plumbing fixtures is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so it has a really luxurious bathtub and really awesome stuff. So. Of course, since I built this penthouse for an artist and a musician, I had to, you know, give them lots of space for them to work their craft. So I wanted to have an outdoor space for our artists to paint. That's why I put that easel there because I thought that was a great place for them to paint. Also, the laundry day stuff pack, it came with like a still life, um, assembly of items so i also put that as well to make it seem like that was what our artist was painting at the moment and then right here at outside i put like a, a hot tub i put it in the corner though hopefully there's not going to be any issues with the sims exiting that because i haven't tried it yet but i'm pretty pretty sure that the sims could exit on one side where it actually has you know space for it because it was kind of like an infinity hot tub if that makes any sense but pretty much this is kind of like the last couple of areas that we're working on and i just put this nice little um 
barbecue area and outdoor dining as well even though like every every space in the house is outdoors but anyway that is going to be it for this build you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my commentary right here and as always i hope you guys like this video and i hope you guys enjoyed enough to help support the channel by leaving a like and also sharing the video and subscribing to the channel really really helps and of course i really appreciate getting your guys's comment and feedback as well so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here you all have an awesome 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 day thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys next time bye bye